Today I have another satisfying organized and declutter video for you. We are expecting our second baby at the beginning of the new year. So this back room is going to be a nursery. So I will be bringing you through its total transformation, starting by cleaning out and organizing all this craft and office supply in here. My little helper and I started our journey by going to Michael's and Target to shop in our favorite sections. Michael's, as always, did not disappoint with their selection and I happened to go at the perfect time because most of what I needed was all on sale. Target also had a ton of different types of bins and baskets in their dollar shop area. They always have a ton of different containers and their regular stock of items too and we took advantage of it all today. These are the cabinets we are going to be organizing everything into today. I'm going to start by emptying everything out so that I have a clean slate to work with. I will link anything and everything I can in the description that I use to help organize this space for you guys. I know both Target and Michaels both offer shipping straight from their website, so this will make it even easier for you to get the supplies straight to your door. We just finished making these built-in cabinets. We still need to put shelves up in between them, but for the most part, this room is done. This is our playroom, which will eventually become kind of an arts and crafts slash like homeschool room when our kids get older. So. These are going to be the craft cabinets for now, but I am just so excited to finally organize all the craft supplies because right now it's just a jumbled mess. <laughs> the closet I'm pulling everything out of is actually our seasonal decor closet. So I'm starting by just pulling it all out and bringing it to the cabinets so it's all in one place for me to organize and declutter. Okay, so I'm gonna start by going through all the craft stuff first. I did not realize how much there was until I pulled it all out, so I know I will be getting rid of a lot of things. I'm starting by going through the two craft bins that we already had. For the most part, these bins were already grouped into sections of like needlework, painting, and different crafts, which made it a lot easier to organize them into a way where I can easily find things. I also ended up decluttering so much out of these. Near the end of this video, I shared just how much I ended up throwing away and donating. The best tip I can give you for organizing spaces is to just sit down and start. Even if it's just one drawer, sometimes just completing that one drawer will motivate you to do the rest. Another tip I can give you is not to be scared to just keep moving things around until everything fits how you want it to. You'll definitely see me moving things around in these drawers until I get them just how I like it. Also, don't be scared to completely redo a drawer you've already finished. The drawer I'm working on now I actually completely redo later because I found more ribbon that I totally forgot about. I found these small white bins on an end cap at Target and fell in love with them. <laughs> they helped so much with this project, especially these drawers. I've decluttered and organized these drawers a countless amount of times, but I've never gotten bins or anything to try and separate everything. I definitely think this will help me keep these drawers a lot more organized. I was so happy to utilize one of these white bins for our glue sticks. The red basket I had here to hold them all had holes and they would constantly fall through. So one of these larger white bins worked perfectly to hold them all together. This drawer ends up being more of a general craft supplies drawer and I do end up adding a few more things and rearranging it a little bit more later. I'm onto our paints now and what a mess is this? <laughs> Everything is literally just jumbled together. It was so difficult to find any color paint that I actually needed. Some of these paints were even dried up, so they were just taking up extra space. This ends up being one of my favorite before and after drawers. The white bins I got from Target really helped to organize this space. I had two drawers completely full of fabric, so I ended up completely taking them out of here. I'm not a huge seamstress, so I just kept the fabric that I knew exactly what I was going to be using it for, and then I decluttered the rest. This drawer had some random VHS tapes in them, like what in the world? They must have just gotten shoved in here at some point and I completely forgot about them. I end up just completely emptying this drawer and before I organize more into these drawers, I'm going to clean up the trash from this space so that I have 
room to go through all the boxes of craft supplies and lay it on the floor so it's easier for me to see what I have to work with. These are the bins I got from Michaels and I love them. I was able to fit all my vinyls for my Cricut machine perfectly into one of these bins. I initially got them all for my scrapbook paper, but it ended up being a happy surprise that these ended up fitting in there too. Eventually, I would love to go through the hundreds of sheets of scrapbook paper I have and organize them into different color groups, but that will definitely be for another video. Just getting the paper out of these plastic Aldi bags and into these bins was a huge upgrade. So I ended up going back to Target for a few things. I'll show you. I ended up getting a bunch more of these white containers because they've been so useful. And then I also got this little drawer and then this one's separate. It's a little smaller to help organize some of the office stuff. These boxes were a hot jumbled mess. The only way I think you can really organize anything that is this thrown together like this is to just take it completely out of the box and lay it out so you can see what you have to work with. As I'm going through these boxes, I'm trying to group like things together and also asking myself with each item whether or not I know I'm going to use this. If the answer is no or that has been like five years and I still haven't used it, I'm putting it in the pile of trash or to donate. Okay, so I emptied those boxes so that I had a better idea of what I'm working with. It looks like a mess, but it is a lot easier to just see what you have, lay it all out, so that you know how much you have to be able to fit into the space that you need. So earlier I had organized what I thought was all my ribbon into the drawer, but ended up finding a lot more. I know a lot of other professional organizers will tell you to take everything out and group it together before organizing it so that you know exactly how much you're working with. And this is prime example number one. I could have saved some more time if I had gone through all these boxes first. This pile of things here looks like such a mess, but it's actually an organized mess. I have memorabilia grouped together from different trips into bags so that it's easier for me to make a scrapbook out of all the memories. So for these, I'm gonna be utilizing this clear square bin that I got from Target to group them all together. I love scrapbooking and really needed a space to organize all the printed photos I have. So I got these from Michaels. They had so many different colors and they worked perfectly for my four x five pictures. Anything that was larger had to lay down on the bottom of the box rather than upright, which made it easier to flip through. But most of the time I'm using smaller pictures for my scrapbooking anyway. I'm back to the drawers now. I just have a couple left, but I decided to rework the needleworking sewing drawer. I already did since I took out all the ribbon I had in there earlier. So like I said before, don't be scared or discouraged if you need to move things around until you get them just how you like it. I had found some more general craft supplies in the boxes I emptied, so I'm reworking this drawer too to fit everything just how I like it. At this point, I had two empty drawers to work with to fit all my scrapbook supplies in. These white bins worked so nicely to help organize all the smaller supplies. After finally going through all this and taking the time to organize it, made me want to work so much more with my scrapbooks because it's going to be so much easier now.
now that I have all the craft supplies organized, I'm going to start moving them all into their home, into these cabinets. The right side cabinet here is going to hold most of our office type supplies, so I put our printer here on the right. I don't use my sewing machine that often, so I'm putting it on the top shelf since this shelf isn't as easy to get to. Now I'm just going to do a quick cleanup of the space so that I can start working on the office supplies. So I'm going to bring in everything that's in the desk now. Before I do that, I want to clean up everything that's on the floor that's left so that I can just lay out all the drawers and then go through them and organize them into this last cabinet. I was so happy these drawers ended up fitting perfectly side by side. I could have stacked them too, but I wanted to take advantage of having more shelf space because I knew I was going to need it. So that is why I put them next to each other. For this larger container, I ended up using it for our camera supplies. We had a whole cabinet in the desk that was holding all of this, so it ended up being a pretty quick transfer. The smaller drawer I had planned for all these small bins and pieces of office supplies that I knew were going to be difficult to organize into this cabinet, so I utilized all the small white bins from Target again in this drawer and I am so happy with how it turns out. Anytime I left the gate open, Cecilia always ran as fast as she could to the door to try to get in and see what I was doing. I'm finishing up the top shelf here. I decided to put all of our binders and notepads up here, and I used an extra bookend that I had laying around to prop them all up. I'm going through all of our pencils, pens, and markers now. I found this round pencil holder in the dollar spot at Target for $5, so my goal was to limit all of them down to what I could fit into this container and get rid of the rest. I also found this container in the dollar spot at Target and I'm making it into a small card carrier. I put all of our thank you cards and envelopes in here and our stamps. These were the only containers I had left that I need to return now. This is all the trash that I was able <laughs> to just completely declutter from the space. But everything we're gonna be donating inside this box too, so it's pretty full. And here is our final result. It is such a relief to have finished this project. I love how it turned out. I hope this video gave you some motivation to start your own organization project. If it did, hit that thumbs up to let me know. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that button for more videos like this. And I will see you all right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.